There are a few little tricks that you can use when changing your brake fluid. It's a smart idea to use a different colored fluid and then bleed the brakes. Make sure to check with your owner's manual and only use approved brake fluid for your system. Use of an improper or non-approved brake fluid can result in your brake system not functioning properly. Shown here is the Motive Products Power Bleeder, Red Arrow, attached to the Reservoir, Yellow Arrow, by its hose and cap. Pour the approved brake fluid into the bleeder and attach the cap. Slowly pressurize the system using the hand pump on the power bleeder until you have around 15 to 20 PSI. Make sure everything is sealed up tight and that there are not any leaks in the system. Make sure to use the proper tool for the job and that tool is a flared nut wrench, yellow arrow. The flared nut wrench will grab six sides of the bleed nipple and prevent it from stripping. The nipples are small and made from a softer metal and can round off easily if you do not use a flared nut wrench. Remove the protective cap from the nipple, red arrow, and attach a clear drain tube or hose to the end of it. Open the bleed nipple by loosening it at the caliper about a quarter of a turn, yellow arrow. Let the brake fluid run out of the caliper until no more bubbles appear. You should use a clear tube, red arrow, so you can see the air bubbles escaping and when they stop. If you are working by yourself, besides the catch bottle, I always like to have a large drip pan or rubber container underneath my work area. Brake fluid is very messy and will stain or ruin anything it comes in contact with. Mercedes recommends that you flush and replace your brake fluid every two years. Deposits and debris can build up in the lines over time and decrease the efficiency of your brakes. Regular bleeding of your system can also help you spot brake problems that you wouldn't necessarily notice simply by driving the car. Also, never reuse your brake fluid. Always use fresh, new fluid. In addition, don't use brake fluid that has come from an open can that's been sitting on a shelf or sitting in your power bleeder for a while. The brake fluid has a tendency to absorb moisture once it is opened. Moisture in the brakes will boil when you start using them and can result in a spongy pedal. Once the air has stopped escaping from the caliper, close up the nipple and move on to the next caliper. It is best when bleeding brakes to start with the caliper furthest away from the master cylinder and finish with the one closest. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.